We used to know how to learn without AI and then suddenly overnight we became prompt engineers. We stopped thinking and we started outsourcing. AI is great, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I use it every single day, it helps me and my students, it's very efficient and accessibility matters, especially for students who can't afford expensive tutoring or tools. But here's the uncomfortable truth. AI didn't just make studying easier, it also made us think less. Not because AI is bad, but because the way the students are using it is bad. Usually it goes like this, the student asks AI a question what does this mean? You get the answer. Okay, done. No thinking, no friction, no struggle. And honestly, it is that friction, it is that struggle where the actual learning happens. So today, I want you to break the bad AI habit that are quietly destroying your ability to learn so that you can switch between AI and non-AI studying seamlessly. Let's rebuild your brain muscle, shall we? Modern students nowadays, they write notes as if they're speaking to an AI. What's the answer? Just give it to me clean. Notes didn't used to be like that. Notes used to be your way of thinking. It didn't used to just be a blurt of your textbook. It's not a transcript. So here's the counter habit. Turn your outline into questions. Your brain must generate the answer first. So for example, if it says here, explain the energy changes associated with changes of state. That's something that you can kind of guess logically. For example, the change of state between a solid and a liquid, the energy will be increasing because liquids are much more fluent. They flow much better than the solids. So basically, this would mean that the liquids have more energy and therefore the gases also has more energy than the liquids and the solids. Once you write down what you think is the answer, then you're gonna check with the textbook. Is this actually the answer? If you got it wrong and there's any mismatches and errors, that's where you do the learning part. And don't forget to write down the correct answer as well. Don't just write the wrong answer in your notes and leave it at that. What AI does is that the summaries bypasses this information, this process here. That's why it feels good, but you don't actually have the information sticking to you. Of course, there's other things you can do, like using active recall with that, like flashcards, practice games, and whatever it is this but that's a story for another time. AI cannot replicate your personal mental model. Your doodles, your metaphors, your weird diagrams, your analogies, those are the ones that actually help you build a real memory. Now, even with the practice questions, there can be a lot of problems with this, and I am a victim of this as well. I don't know if I should call myself a victim because I, I did it to myself, but basically, I click generate quiz, take whatever the model spits out, and then do it, and then that's it. No intention, no selection, no strategy whatsoever. Before AI existed, we already had practice questions, and how I used to do it was that I would have the practice question with the mark scheme open, and then I would look at the question, think about my answer, look at the mark scheme, check if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I would redo the entire process all over again, and write it into a flashcard or whatever it is, so that I have a stack of questions that I don't know about, and then a stack of questions that I do know about. Then the ones I don't know about, I will then add to my notes so that I remember it even further. Like there's a whole process that's happening here. But with AI, it's just a practice question. You do the question, you get the answer. You're like, oh, okay, I got that wrong. You ask further questions about it, potentially. You're like, why did I get that wrong? What does this mean? Blah, blah, blah. Good if you do that. But a lot of the time, students don't. And that's because you have associated using AI with efficiency, which means you are looking for the shortcut for everything everything. But again, before we had AI, we already had a lot of resources that had these practice questions without AI involved. And even nowadays, they still don't have AI involved. For example, Brilliant, Cognito, Save My Exams, Khan Academy, Past Papers, and the chapter questions on your textbooks and even your teacher's worksheets, they don't have AI related to it. You don't need AI for retrieval. AI can make the flashcards, sure, but you still have to flip the flashcards. You still have to do the practice questions, it does not do the learning for you. Stop expecting AI to be the solve all your problem type of tool. It is a tool. That's what it is. AI is just a tool to help you to make it more efficient for you, but you can't rely on it. Again, though, I am not saying not to use AI. I am just saying you need to use it properly because again, I use AI every single day. I study with AI, but I also studied at a time where there was no AI. So I I just want you to be aware of what you are doing. One thing I did realize though, after being an avid AI user for the past, 
I don't know how long it's been, two years maybe? AI caused me to have a jumping habit. It makes me switch tasks every 10 seconds. I search, then I summarize, then I ask, then I rewrite, then I generate, then I scroll, then I repeat. My attention span becomes a subway rat. It is fast, it is chaotic, it is easily startled. Studying without AI actually now requires a skill that I think I've basically lost. And that is just deep presence. It's just literally being there present with the work in front of you. And unfortunately, you can't fix this by yelling at yourself, focus. You fix it by changing your environment. New room, tidying up your desk. As you can see, mine isn't tidy. Going to the library, going outside, studying at the gym, for example. Your brain loves novelty. It doesn't love switching tasks every 10 seconds. It may feel like it's a dopamine hit every single time you switch task, but trust me, it is actually detrimental to you. So when your focus collapses at 20 minutes, don't blame yourself. I know we blame social media and yes, that plays a big part, but it's also because the digital open stimulation that you are getting from using AI all the time. So when you reset the room, you reset your brain as well. Now here's the thing that AI cannot do for you. No matter how hard it tries, it will not be able to do this for you. And that is to think for you as a beginner. When you are new to a topic, you don't even know what questions to ask yet. It's the same thing as like you sitting in class and the teacher is just silent waiting for you to ask a question without teaching the class at all. You can tell the AI, can you please tell me everything I need to know for thermodynamics? It's going to tell you a bunch of things that you need to know, but it's just going to overwhelm you and you still don't know what you know and what you don't know. Obviously, at this point, you don't know anything, but your brain isn't going to be able to relate part A to part B because you it just doesn't click in your mind. You didn't have that thinking process to begin with. That is the gap. Sure, AI can summarize, it can clean your notes, it can make flashcards and all the fancy stuff and make it so efficient for you. But if you don't have the fundamentals to the topic, the answer will not land. You'll read them, you nod, and still be confused afterwards. That's why learning without AI is still very important. Do not disregard that. You need the skeleton first and then the AI can help you to add the details later. It doesn't build the foundation for you. You need to have that foundation in yourself first. So yes, AI is amazing. Yes, it is. I have achieved so much more because I have had AI. If ChatGPT didn't come up when it did, I don't think I'll be able to have my TikTok and also still get an average of 91% in university just because I wouldn't have had the time to do everything. I take ages to write notes. So AI does summarize that for me, but I already know what I'm talking about in the first place because I have done the groundwork. So yes, AI does organize for you. It summarizes for you. It automates things for you, but it doesn't understand for you. It doesn't connect the ideas for you yet may in the future, but not right now, it doesn't build the intention for you either. At this moment in time, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've probably used about 30 or even more AI softwares. Write down any apps down below, I've probably tried them out before. And yes, there are some that I absolutely love, like StudyFetch, ChatGPT, Gemini, love them, but still, it is not 100% there yet. And I don't expect it to be 100% there yet. A lot of people expect that because this is su such a novel thing, blah, 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 and it helps them with one thing, it should help them with everything, which is where the whole problem comes in, where you expect the AI to be this solve your all your problems type of tool. And even when we do get there, when it does get to that 100% position, please don't mistake it as good thinking. Relying on AI to learn just means you are good at efficiency, but you are not good at thinking for yourself. We should not forget that the obstacles are what creates knowledge. That friction is what builds the intelligence. If you avoid all the friction, then you will avoid the learning. It's just like life. You don't learn if you don't make mistakes. So that is the same with your studies as well. You don't need to break up AI. That's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. I'm not telling you to delete your apps and go back to studying like it's 2012, but you should remember how to learn without AI as well. AI is the assistant. AI is your study buddy. It can be your teacher, it can be your guide, but your brain is still the boss. When in doubt, 
just go back to the basics. It is old, but it is undefeated. Now, I do want to run you through how I do study with AI. I think you guys will find that super interesting of how I kind of mix the both worlds together and still allow me to think and how I maximize using AI, basically. But that's going to take way too long. This is going to end up being like a 30 minute video. So I'm going to do that in a different video. And so with that in mind, let me know down below if you are team study the old fashioned way or team AI or team both. For me personally, I'm team both. AI makes things efficient for me, but I still do the learning with my own brain with the help of AI, of course. I would love to listen to your perspective. Aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't yet, and share this with your friends that you think will find this helpful as well. Join the smart side. See you in the next video. Bye! Thank you